later. Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, they moved out. Someone downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He. Gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? The cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Oh! <laughs> 
much care for you, Mr. DeWitt. Admit you know your way around the brawl. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling you a thought. Yeah. I can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. and find Mr. Lin. And just call me people are saying. Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all Open I it. ask okay. is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs>
open it. The old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up in a fiery or a song. in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but uh, I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Hmm. 
Chen Lin, cell number nine. Hmm. Elizabeth, a little help? Come on, give me something challenging. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, I was with the Pinkertons. They'd call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. No point hiding. for the clock shop. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. You know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. What's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. I treat them like to tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? What have you done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. It's Slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Take long at all. All yours. Elizabeth, a little help? Hmm. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Ready. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now More money. No Here you go. Has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. Another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have 
have to go through to this other Columbia. But... It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb a bike. If we go into the sewer, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Found the lockpick. Daisy Fitzroy. Come on, you piece of horseshit. Tell me about Daisy. Cut him loose. What? Scarfield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. They'll keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chief's wife got friends and I. Agree. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. the one who was strung up on the wall. And the other one? This whole business. You hold on to this.
found some money. Want it? Thanks. Set to midnight. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man. And there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Look, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Who 
Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs. What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How do you reconcile that? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police! They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This terror. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear that.
You must think me some sort of... Freak. A girl who can... Bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a... A giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak what you think. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything. They're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy... These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Real soon. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Back it up, Scal. Hank lost his job at the Fink plant, and they evicted all of us. Father people! Cut off your head! Don't stop firing! Get to get
When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. The fire's got heat aplenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. She's all we still have. People are treated like men. Others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. There's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. We hear tell that the gunsmith was making weapons for the Vox. We squashed that gunsmith like a bug and took his tools for our Ready, own. Sir. Take positions!
traps around the lines up here. The idea was to bleed one of your couriers until he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Go ahead. There you go. Tried to take his leg off. Line here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. That one. Now. On it. Hooker, catch. Trying to keep you stopped.
Open it. Done. Bash his brains out!
they are, the twins. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Fancy putting those lock-picking skills to work? <sighs> Child's play. Done. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. If the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, I don't think there's any turning back. Head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the locks get their guns, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. see a forest at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place.
that poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Look at The nose. Hard to think of. Two memories in the same Hooker, place. Hooker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the First Lady. Let's go. I wanted to feed my family. <laughs> down to it. The only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. a tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado. Obliged. Do it. You bet. Father's Elizabeth. Okay.
if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons, or I created it. factory and get our airship this isn't our responsibility none of it you just opened a door to this world and we stepped through are you sure booker did i just bring us to a world where chenlin was alive or, or did i create him i told you i always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment i got my wish Looks like I got a friend in town after all, Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi. And for irregulars, I will say, they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl.
that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? Open it! All right. the engine and bring this thing down. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. We take Comstock House by storm. I do that. I get the girl. Okay, now to get off this thing.
We need to take that elevator up. That at least to Fink's office. just right for each other, aren't they? Who? Fitzroy and Comstock. 